So I'll go, maybe go after, I'll go through the, the three eyes, the three eye concepts. What, what is our educational philosophy? We're an interdisciplinary organisation. We teach very different ranges of um, skills. So it's not, so here, for example, Stuttgart is an aerospace campus. There's a focus on aerospace training here. But what we try to instill also, I assume, is a, um, a broader range uh, background in the ethics, the policy, the uh, education, the uh, well, not so policy, um, legal aspects of space applications and space projects. How do you get a space project to fruition? You've got to address all these things. You've got to get the funding, it's got to be a business case. That's the idea. We're um, an international organization. Um, we have participants. Well, this year we're all participants because we put all your students because we were um, in, in America. I mean, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> but it would have been a legal ease problem. Um, so uh, we have people from all over the world. Um, in fact, I think I'm not quite sure how many, 20, how many nations now to I think we're coming to that anyway. Later on, but it's uh, yeah, there's a slide. Yeah. There's a slide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and intercultural. And um, the idea is to uh, when you're going to do a, a space of endeavour on a large scale, when you can't be many different cultures involved. You've got to be very um, sensitive to different approaches to business, to meetings, and so on. So that's part of the training, really. Something to, to instill in that in the beginning. Um, you'll do probably some intercultural training, I guess, at some point. Or we maybe already have in the first in the first module. Um, we definitely did some during the, the summer program, um, and. The, and the, uh, yeah, the idea is to make sure make people are aware of these different aspects. So, um, again, what the, the areas that we try and study um, are space engineering, sciences, human performance, space applications, space humanities, policy law, business and management, that's a big one. Um, our chancellor is now Jean-Jacques Baudin, it was, it was R. C. Clark. Um, we've even been endorsed by uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger at one point, I think. That was kind of cool. Um, Angie's our dean, Angie Buckley, um, or Professor Angie Buckley, you should say. And uh, Walter Peters, Professor Walter Peters, has moved to uh, <coughs> He used to be Michael Simpson, he's moved on to the Secure World Foundation. Um, so, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, you take a seat. But are you highest you already? Or? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, so only two people in here that aren't yet highest you. This is aren't yet. So, um, yeah, we have nine resident faculty, one of which is Professor Chris Welch, as you all know. And um, we have plenty of lecturers and professionals around the world. Rudy Gigens, um, who else we have? There's someone else here, actually. Professor Rosa has been at some point, um, yeah. uh, and lots of guest lectures. Um, so, where we started in yeah, the, these initial meetings, the first SSP was at MIT. Um, then we had the 94 come about the central campus establishing in Strasbourg. Now, I don't know if you know that the building opposite the Pasteur Institute, the kind of the Klingon Warbird thing. We were originally in one of the, the sites, put in the cell, the laser physics lab now. And I believe we started off in there. That was the original ISU Central Campus wing. And we released that for a bit. And then we got this, this new building built on Gypsy Land, which has caused troubles ever since. I don't know, we still have gypsy problems? No, not, not well, yet. Recently. Okay. Anyway, no, we had big gypsy problems in 2006. And uh, stuff happened. Anyway, so. Um, now we're based in this building here. As um, most of you know, but those who don't know, this is quite a large, it's actually bigger than this building, so it's four times as big as this building. I'm from this building, so I can't really. I wish it had more space. I wish I had the same space to get it now that I see. Um, in 95, we started the, the master's program, the first master's program, which I'm not sure, because that with uh, Chris Stock was one of the first, yeah, so Chris Stock was one of the first master's students. Um, soon after that, probably during that year actually, they, they started, the, no, it would be the next year when the, uh, the IC Symposium was launched. 
um, of which you should pay attention, master students this year, because because not true. is it not true? There's always a question. Always a, we were told me to make notes. John Farrow said, "I'm going to give you a question." So we had to sit through everything and make notes of everything. Anyway, watch out. Although he's, he's not going to. He may give you a read on that one. Um, in 1988, uh, so 98, we uh, became members of the UN Committee on the Peaceful Use of Arab Space. We observe the status there. That's how I say how I, I kind of got introduced to ISU. Um, I was sitting next to President Simpson at the time, so I kind of learned about ISU that way and got in, encouraged to apply and, and, and come on over that way. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then we, in 2002, we moved into the the official building, which was, I don't know, the time we uh, President Simpson, the previous president, Michael Simpson. Um, what else in the history of ISU? He, in 2002, started the executive space course, and then um, in 2004, brought about, okay, 2004 is a big one because that's when we got officially accredited as a university in, in France. Uh, so that's good because we were you know, a university trying to become one. Up to that point now we are one, so we're accredited in France with proper all the you know, academic rigor we're supposed to be um, achieving. Um, then the uh, 2004, the MSM branch, the, previously the Masters of Space, um, uh, Space Systems, I did that. That's the MSS, that's the one I did. Uh, I did that in 2007, uh, but we brought about in 2004 the Master of Space Management, more of an, uh, say an MBA style version of it. There is, talk, I don't know, let's talk about an MBA. Okay, I will too. But there is, there is an EMBA. <laughs> <That's not. laughs> um, and um, I don't know much about that, to be honest. Um, then, we started also in 2011 the SHSSP, the Summer, so it's the Southern Hemisphere Summer Program, space program. And, um, but that is actually in the summer for the Southern Hemisphere, so that's quite that's good. So, um, okay, and uh, we have over 3,000, I think we're about, is that, is that close? Two and a half, yeah, three and a half thousand, I see a now. Over many countries. There's not many countries that we need to. We need to get people from everyone, then we, we kind of uh, take over the world. But so um, we have, yeah, 25 years we've been going now. We've developed program, put the programs and activities ever since. Um, yeah. So we have the annual programs, the masters programs, we have the summer programs. Um, and professional development programs. Um, in short, again, these are the, the, the things we do. Um, the masters, which most people here are taking part in, who's not actually done the masters yet? Because you've not done it yet. Yeah, and yeah. is that not? I haven't done it yet. That's true, but you, you, he's the he's in charge of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should give myself. <laughs> yeah, it didn't change anything. Okay. Um, who's doing MSM? Who's doing MSS? What's that? Who uh, can explain why one is better than the other one? <laughs> Come on, Graham. <laughs> you don't know yet, I guess that's very interesting. Yeah, I, I would actually say I did the MSS, um, and but I, I come from a physics background, so actually it was good for me to get a, a more of a background in um, the internet aspects. I didn't really know even though I was really bad at it, you know, the engineering side. You know, here in Stuttgart, you do a bit of everything on the engineering side. You do aerodynamics, you know, propulsion, and different things. And from a physics point of view, I just knew that a rocket works based on. Newton's principles, and that's about it. So, um, anyway, it's good for me to get that over me. However, if I, had, if I could come and do it again, I'd do the MSM after, as well. I think you can do both to really get the full overview. But the MSM really teaches you more the uh, business management aspects, how to form a business plan, I guess, so 
I didn't do it, so I don't know. But it's uh, it's good. I think the MSM is actually. I think I think this this map can explain well the benefits of the MSM. Uh, yeah. Well, it's uh, definitely important to me for the contacts. Yeah. I would uh, definitely suggest to have a, a lot more practice in different fields, but uh, all yeah. my impressions uh, were about it. About it. And that's one thing you mentioned, the, the, the networking opportunities. Like, this is why I actually really fantastic for. I mean, okay, we've got the people, obviously, over 3,000, 3,500 people that are alone, like, they've gone back into other education institutions or companies or agencies, and we've got people in most companies, organizations across the world that have done an IC program. So that's always a, a link into things. So you can always you know, send them an email and ask how do I do this or who should I speak to in this organization. That's one of the big trends. This is the only slide that I did that isn't Chris's and I ripped it from the Wikipedia page. So uh, this is exactly what Chris told me to do, I have to say. So we've got a telescope now, we've got a... Um, so you can find details on Wikipedia. Yeah, I think it's more than that. I should be at least a claim that it's only Wikipedia. But it's, um, we have uh, the Haystack Telescope, which is developed within the MIT. Um, we can do hydrogen light astronomy with that. Um, we've got a ground station with a CDF facility. And uh, yeah. Oh, and it's kind of our match. We've got, an, we've got a spaceship now in the highway, which is pretty cool. We've got the, uh, the Almas capsule. I don't know, is, is there a chance to plan to get the, the, the service module and stuff there, or is that all you? No, no, in fact, we don't yeah. have one. We, we've got it as long as it's scalable, we don't want it. Okay, so yeah. we're, we're borrowing it. We're borrowing this picture. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, and I think I should have got the picture actually of you guys, I think, climbing in the other week. So I saw that we had a lot of people in it at once. Nine! Oh, yeah. Is that possible? Is only that big? Yeah. Um, some of them are small. Very good. So, okay. <laughs> The master students, do you know what you're going to be doing? Um, but the, uh, the program is split up into um, an introductory part, and then so everyone gets a basic overview of uh, SpaceX and all the different aspects. Um, and then there's two streams, the masters, there, there's engineering stream and the uh, space management stream. In parallel, you'll be doing your team projects, which uh, for those of you who would on the summer program on the SSB world, um, you don't pro do you know what have you been told a lot about the uh, team projects yet or what you've been doing? Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys actually all know. So, yeah, okay. But, so the team projects are way the in the master space, uh, we split up what, 50, how many people? I should have my stats so 54? We just issued the numbers for this year. Yesterday. 26 and 25. 26 and 25. Okay, so <laughs> slightly smaller than with the SSP. Um, the, the projects are yeah, right, 26 people, 25. That's, that's, the idea is to uh, learn as a group how to organize really and uh, to attack a, uh, a project in the most efficient manner and uh, come up with innovative solutions and those of you who know team projects know that already. And then one of the biggest things, actually, I would say one of the biggest goals about the master program is the internship. Um, and uh, I didn't manage to get a picture of what I worked on the athlete program. And the only picture I've got actually is on my back. So I don't want to turn too much to and show you. The <laughs> <laughs> athlete is a, uh, is a giant robot. A uh, very small picture on the back of my so, so athlete is a is is me. It's a robot that, that, that we worked on third scale versions of the system. This is the follow-on, or it should have been maybe still a follow-on robot curiosity. And uh, in the uh, um, the idea is to develop a system which can both do exploration and uh, move around human aspects, human exploration, you know, uh, 
equipment around the, the, the lunar or the Martian surface. Um, and yeah, they, I, I did that obviously at JPL. And um, one of the things, I think one of the biggest things with, with IC, the, the master program, is this ability to get into these organizations to do some pretty detailed work. So, um, yeah, I, mean, I would uh, apply early as well. If you want to go to one of the NASA centers, then apply as soon as you can. Because I think there's always a lot of time with the, uh, the security clearance and stuff to get through. Um, so, this is a kind of breakdown of the backgrounds of the students of the 2011, uh, but I guess it's kind of representative of, of the general sort of uh, breakdown. Most, half the students generally come from an engineering background. But we do you have life sciences, business management, space applications, they're all covered in humanities. So, yeah, it's a bit of everything. Um, and then team projects, as mentioned before, group work. Um, and there's actually a bit of competition sometimes, or other people would like the, the master's team projects to be, because they're, they're longer. So you've got more time to develop it, because of course the, the summer program everything is really compressed. So um, there's a bit more time to make things, to go into the details or to make things a little more rigorous with references and so on. But um, this is one we did, 2007, the full moon, and we used um, the idea was to, it was actually, uh, the, the concept was to kind of put, um, use the architecture of Tori on the moon from then well, project constellation from the uh, the idea that all these these landers would have landed on the moon in the constellation program, and we could have taken all of these spare tanks and filled them up and used the residual fuel to power future missions. Uh, so it was a lunar infrastructure thing, not too dissimilar to Oasis, but just focused on the lunar surface. Um, lots and lots and lots of projects going back through the the years of ISU. The EMBA, which I don't know that much about, so I just heard of Chris, but it's kind of there. Um, it's, yeah. <laughs> For people, okay, some of you may already be in a sort of uh, middle management area, and this might be of, of value, I think. It's, uh, but it's, uh, usually this is people who have gone into a career already and would like to come out and do a bit more. Um, uh, use the ISU approach to, to look at things again. It's split though nicely over 18 months into two little modules. So you're taking, you're kind of using your time a little more, you're not stuck there for the whole year, so you can still work and then come out back and do this. Um, SSP, which uh, is our nine week middle of the year program, and put it that way. In our summer program, which um, this year was in, in uh, FIT, Florida, uh, in collaboration with the uh, Kennedy Space Center, which who was here from this year? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I was a TA. Like you all. <laughs> <laughs> These uh, five people were all part of uh, the summer program, um, and yeah, we saw two as Christians, I think. No, it's been doing uh, taking pictures of the two launches that we saw this time. Um, so what a, no, what do you see? An Aries, no, Aries. Um, um, Atlas Five and the uh, Delta, 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 Delta. Yeah. And we saw the Atlantis being rolled along the ground. Um, yeah, so uh, it's the same kind of idea as the massive, heavily compressed. So, uh, and that's really one thing I'd say if you did the SSP and you wanted to get a bit more depth, then I'd consider starting doing the master's programs. Um, so, similar, I think actually the, the order has changed. The team project is usually at the end, although as you all know, there's a bit going on in parallel all the way through. And then there's kind of three weeks at the end. Um, you have about two weeks concentrated on departmental activities, that's your specialization. And the core before about four weeks of core months before the exam kind of teaches you those basics and then you get to specialise in your in your department. Um, so where's it next? So we were in, in Florida, we're next off to Impi in uh, Brazil and then Montreal. Uh, we've been 
those places. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's slide 12. Should be 2014. Should be 2014. Chris, your slide is wrong. Sorry. Making sure. Thank you, Okay, uh, lots <coughs> of new team projects. Um, one of the one of them here today, Oasis. Um, really good is here from Space. Who's here from Debris? Could you Debris? No, okay. But yeah, we could also do something about this as well. But I'm gonna do it. If you want, we could do. Okay, right. So lots and lots of projects. Also, this was actually my year. Um, Luna Gaia in 2006, and um, we did there a, a lunar base for the North Pole of the Moon, we did that with, with Pete Ward, who was the Senate Director of uh, NASA Ames. Um, what else, the team projects? The Southern Hemisphere Summer Session Program, Space Duty Program, is uh, yeah, is an even more cut down, fine version to I don't know how to put it, to cater for people from the lower half of, of the planet who may not be able to get necessarily to the That's That's a very heavy story. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and also, how do we, how, how's the best, is the idea is to cater? No, what no, is no, the best way to be the lower? The lower portion, yeah. <laughs> of the planet. Yeah. Um, so it's essentially the same thing as the, the SSP, the, the, the first program, just even more compressed. Um, but, yeah. And I think it's all, mostly so far in Adelaide, as far as I know, it's only now. Yeah. Yeah, but it is in Adelaide. Will it move around? And, uh, it might do. There's some, some interest from South Africa, not in the Southern Hemisphere. It's the only thing, but there's some interest from South Africa. Okay. And also, actually, no, yeah. sorry, there's some interest from India and also South Africa. There's a whole lot of South Africa. Yeah. But uh, I don't know what's what's happening. Yeah. Um, so and actually, I'd say that's probably something to look into. Say you want to go for it to be a TA, which I also really recommend doing, is how we consider going over and then there's more opportunities for Angola to go for TA. That's good. Um, so. Uh, and the executive space course is a one-week course for really qualified people like your dad. I think he could come and do this one, unless he has already. Shoot him. <laughs> so, but, yeah, okay, and not many of us might be already ready to we'll take part in this program. What do you think? Uh, I'm not sure at the moment I won't come in from the young country. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. How much it costs. Um, but the, uh, we also do yeah, the symposium. Uh, as I say, okay, you don't have to take notes, apparently, so be safe, you can enjoy it. Um, this is, it yeah, happens every year, there's usually a different theme. Um, well, there's every year, there's a different theme, different topic. Um, and was it two, two days? It's a weekend? About the afternoon, it's a midweek. Okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, half of those. Two days. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that was all good. We had Larry Garber and people coming and presenting the hours, and I think yeah, there was Wide the Moon, and that was talking about NASA's exploration strategy for the moon, which isn't happening now, but that's where that was the plan. And yeah, I think that's a nice slide. It's, um, it's about developing people, really, um, to help them explore and develop space. So that's what we do. Uh, things that come out of the uh, project, and this is one thing that the master students have more time to look into, because you're there, you've got more time to develop, but I think with Oasis you're also looking at, at continuing that. There has been talk of, of taking uh, this project further, and, uh, but some of the projects can be really hands-on stuff, or you can get around, you've got time to build things up in the uh, facilities at ISU in, uh, in Strasbourg. RDSAC uh, came out of this uh, well, the uh, companies formed by the students last year, the um, graduates of uh, Masters 12, um, and they were yeah, found in Nano Satisfy. So that's uh, using their Arduino system, I guess, to develop uh, a small satellite. Um, crowdsourced, around 100,000, 
and funding. So it's. Uh, I think is it the same Yes program that ESA runs, the the S ten, like Yes two and those, or is that part of That's a different program. Okay. So uh, yeah, and then Lifport. Uh, actually, I, I meant to look at it. Mister Guy, Mike. Mike, yes. Yeah. Jamie Michael. Lane. Michael Lane, yeah, and uh, he set up the Lifport, and this is one of the. Uh, I guess it was credible of the, 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 the sort of space elevator uh, concept teams trying to go for that. I think it was one of the centennial, actually I don't know, I don't know even know. It was one of the centennial challenges actually to develop some technology for. Mm. Well, there was, there's money put forward to uh, developing um, technology for space elevators. So yeah, and that's it. So, I'm hearing questions. <laughs> Chris, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I think at six thirty we're all gonna be in this room again to just wrap things up. Um, I don't know if you want to join the other sessions, maybe you want to stay in here, have something to discuss. Feel free to do whatever, go outside, grab another drink or another pizza. Um, yeah. Thank you.